As the bloodletting continues in the country, three men were fatally shot during a fierce gun battle with police on hazard driving Clarendon yesterday. The confrontation, which occurred on National Heroes Day, was one of several violent incidents that marred the holiday across the island. According to reports, police officers were conducting an operation in the area when they came under heavy gunfire from the men. The officers returned fire, and after the intense shootout, all three men were found suffering from gunshot wounds and were pronounced dead at the scene. The incident has sparked heightened tension in the community as law enforcement officials continue their investigation into the circumstances that led to the fatal exchange. The identities of the deceased men have not yet been released by the authorities, and it remains unclear whether they were linked to any ongoing criminal investigations. Clarendon, a parish already grappling with escalating violence, witnessed this deadly encounter on what was meant to be a day of national reflection and celebration. The police have increased their presence in the area as they work to restore calm and assure residents that security measures are being bolstered. A deadly daylight shooting in downtown Kingston on Tuesday morning has left two men dead and another person injured. The shooting occurred on North Street, causing panic among residents and commuters in the busy commercial area. The identities of the deceased have not yet been confirmed as police continue their investigation into the brutal attack. Senior Superintendent Michael Phipps, head of the Kingston Western Police, confirmed the fatalities but stated that further details were still being gathered. Following the incident, traffic in the area has been diverted as investigators process the crime scene and search for clues. The brazen attack has added to growing concerns about gun violence in the downtown Kingston area, with law enforcement urging anyone with information to come forward. The police have ramped up patrols in the vicinity in an effort to maintain order and restore a sense of security as the investigation continues into the motive and suspects behind this latest act of violence. The St. Andrew Central Police arrested five men on Monday during a snap raid that led to the seizure of an illegal firearm in the Crossroads area. The operation, which unfolded around 1.30 p.m., took place along a lane in the bustling district, resulting in the discovery of a Taurus PT pistol. The firearm, which was equipped with a magazine containing 14 rounds of ammunition, was found during the swift police operation. The five men who were present at the scene were immediately taken into custody on suspicion of possession of a prohibited weapon and unauthorized possession of ammunition. The police have launched a full-scale investigation into the matter to determine whether the men were involved in other criminal activities. Authorities are urging anyone with information that could assist in the investigation to come forward as they continue their crackdown on crime in the Crossroads area and beyond. Authorities have identified four of the five men who were tragically killed during a mass shooting at a football match in Pleasant Heights, Rockford, Kingston, on National Heroes Day. The victims have been named as 51-year-old Ortavia Austin and his 29-year-old son, Okero Austin, 32-year-old Odane Josephs, also known as Bones, and 38-year-old Rosrick Thomas, also known as Tennille. The deadly attack, which occurred on Monday, sent shockwaves through the community. Preliminary reports indicate that gunmen opened fire during the football match, hitting multiple individuals, while several others were also injured in the chaos, but their conditions remain unclear. The incident took place while the community was gathered for a day of sports and celebration, marking the national holiday. 
The sudden violence disrupted the event, leaving residents in fear and mourning the lives lost. The police have launched a full investigation into the shooting, working to determine the motive behind the attack and identify those responsible. As the authorities comb through evidence, they are appealing to anyone with information about the perpetrators to come forward. The mass shooting has intensified concerns about escalating violence in Rockford, with law enforcement ramping up efforts, launching a 48-hour curfew to bring peace to the area. The community is now grappling with the aftermath of the senseless attack as families and friends of the victims mourn their loved ones. Yesterday, Heroes Day, the Pleasant Heights team, along with the Base One team, seems fit to come together to have a friendly football competition. At the end of the competition, Base One team, they won the first prize. So they were here awaiting their first prize. However, they see it fit to have a spelling bee competition and also a bun eating contest. Whilst they're having fun, a group of men walk up in the crowd and open gunfire at some of the patrons, hitting seven persons. Five succumb and two still remain in hospital. Not serious. Sir, since then, we have imposed a curfew in the Rockford area just to contain whatever situation or if any situation should arise and to um, pre um, prevent any reprisal. So far, my team have been on the ground. We have been getting support from Era 4 and uh, SO and right across from um, MID and they have been inside the area. My team this morning also received information somewhere along in the Rosen Road area that one person who involved in the situation that occurred yesterday and they went on an operation and we had a fatal and a, a firearm also recovered. We will continue to pursue, sir, and no stone will be left unturned. What is happening here is not something that we are accustomed to in the Kingston Eastern Division and we are not going to sit back and relax and allow any more of this to take place. The following is a release from the People's National Party Media Unit. I am deeply shocked and saddened by the senseless act of terror that occurred in Pleasant Heights, Rockford on Monday evening. Five lives were tragically taken and several others have been wounded. This cowardly attack has shattered the peace of our community. My thoughts and prayers are with the families who lost their loved ones and with those who are now fighting for their lives. I'm urging anyone who saw or heard anything to come forward and assist the police in their investigation. It is only by working together that we can bring those responsible to justice and to restore peace to our streets. I have already spoken to the Minister of National Security, and I'm calling for an immediate response from the security forces. We need a stronger security presence in Rockford and the surrounding areas, and I urge community groups, churches, and local leaders to unite in addressing this ongoing violence. Housing services must also be provided to the families of the victims and those who witnessed this horrific event. This is a painful and a traumatic time for our community, but we will not let violence define us. Now, more than ever, we must support each other, stand together, and reject this kind of terror. I am committed to working with the authorities and offer my full support to the families affected by this tragedy. Together, we will ensure that justice is served. Visit our website at pnp.org.jm or check us out on Facebook at Jamaica PNP. Hey, music lovers. 
Today we're celebrating the birthday of a true reggae dance hall legend, Shaggy, born Orville Richard Burrell on October 22nd, 1968 in Kingston, Jamaica. Shaggy's journey from the streets of Kingston to international fame is nothing short of inspiring. Shaggy moved to Brooklyn, New York at the age of 18. It was here that he pursued his passion for music while also serving in the United States Marine Corps. Talk about dedication. His breakthrough came in 1993 with the hit single O Carolina, a remake of a ska classic that topped charts worldwide. But Shaggy didn't stop there. In 2000, he released Hot Shot, an album that gave us unforgettable tracks like It Wasn't Me and Angel. These songs became instant anthems, showcasing his unique blend of reggae, dancehall and pop. Shaggy's music isn't just about catchy beats and smooth vocals, it's a celebration of life, culture and resilience. He's won multiple Grammy Awards and has collaborated with artists across genres, proving that music truly knows no boundaries. But Shaggy isn't just a musical icon, he's also a philanthropist. Through his Shaggy Make a Difference Foundation, he supports the Bustamante Children's Hospital in Jamaica, showing that his heart is as big as his talent. So, as we celebrate Shaggy's birthday today, let's remember the incredible impact he's had on the music world and beyond. His journey from Kingston to global fame is a testament to the power of passion, hard work, and a little bit of island magic. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to drop your favorite Shaggy song in the comments below. Happy birthday, Shaggy. Catch you later, music lovers.